In today's style file, we are cracking the code on a bold beauty move that might hang you up how to find the perfect red lipstick. Studio 5 style and beauty contributor Megan Moore says it's a question she gets all of the time. Women want to wear red. Yes. They just don't know how to wear red. Yes, it's intimidating. Totally. Yeah, it's such a bold color and you have to have a level of confidence to pull it off. Mm -hmm. But if you're unsure, like if it's the right one for you, then it's hard to have that confidence, right? So we're gonna crack, crack, crack the code and figure out how to find it. Well, I was telling Megan during the commercial break, my confidence came when somebody helped me find yes. the right red lipstick because it did, it made an instant difference on my face. Like, oh, I can do this. Oh, yes. this makes sense this with what's makes going sense. on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it makes a big difference. Okay, let's jump in. You say it's all about the tone. So what tones are we talking about? So we're talking about the underlying tone and you're gonna have something that's either a cool, a neutral, or a warm, okay. okay? Now when we're looking at the color, this is some color theory for you. If you start in the middle, that's your neutral red. The more yellow we add, the warmer the tone gets, and then the more blue we add, the cooler it gets, right? So you can see that spectrum all the way across, and that makes sense, because we know when we mix colors, that, yeah. that makes sense, right? Yeah. So it's the same thing with our skin tone. We actually have the same thing. We have blue or yellow in our skin. So when we start in the neutral, if we add more pink or more blue, it gets more pink, excuse me. And then if you add more yellow, it gets more warm. So you can see those comparisons. And we're not talking about how dark it is, right? Light or dark. It's just simply the tone. Okay, and we're always gonna be looking for, does it have a blue tint or more of a yellow tint? I was actually surprised that mine tipped to the orangey yeah. side of the red street, and yep. that surprised me about my skin. Really? Well, it makes sense to me because you like to like your hair to be more of a golden yellow. True. You don't love a cool blonde. Very true. And it's the same thing with your lipstick. You would need something warmer because that's what's most flattering on you. So how do we determine our undertones then? That's tricky. Yeah, that's the tricky part. So I made a graphic that will really help you kind of break it down. So there's a couple things to look for. Um, think about, I mean, just look at your skin first of all. Sometimes you can just look in the mirror, looking at your neck and your chest is where you're gonna see the tint the most clearly. So does it lean more yellow and more kind of olive that may be more warm? Um, look at it, do you tan in the, in the sun easily? You tend to be more yellow if you tan. Gold jewelry looks great if you're a warm skin tone person. And then check your veins too. This is a really good giveaway. So look at the veins on the backside of your, of your wrist. If you're warm, you tend to look more green there. Neutral, I'm very neutral. Mm -hmm. I can kind of go both ways. So my veins look blue. Um, I look good in gold or silver. If I have to pick, I tend to lean more gold. Um, and then I do not... I don't really care for a white shirt on me. White is like, mm. it, can, it can work, but it's not my favorite. Okay. Um, cool skin tones have a lot more pink to them, right? They burn in the, the sun very easily. Silver looks best on those skin tones and their veins tend to look purple and often a white shirt, it washes somebody out that's cool. So those okay. are your kind of like points that you wanna look through and see where do you fall mostly for those things. Okay? And you gotta embrace what you are because I'm a wannabe warm. <laughs> I'll just yes. say it. I'm kind of a wannabe. Yeah. And there's something to that, but knowing your skin, yes. then you're the then you can jump off from there. Right. So when you're putting on a red lipstick, you want to be on the same side of the spectrum as your skin tone. If you're pulling from the opposite side, it's going to look foreign. It's going to feel disconnected and like this just does not go. So if you're a cool skin, but you're putting on this really rich, warm lipstick, they're just not going to go together. So look where you are on the spectrum and pick from that side and instantly your red will look better. All right, now that we know what color, let's jump into some of your favorite red formulas. First, yes. you like the Liquid Longwear by Maybelline. Yes, so if you want something that's gonna last and last, if you're wearing it for a wedding or you're eating, or if you're a fellow dance mom like me and you need <laughs> red to last for 12 hours on yeah. tiny little lips, these are my favorites. So these are the Maybelline. This is the Colorstay Matte Ink. They're beautiful. They are very matte, but still like comfortable on the lips. And I've got it laid out where you've got a warm tone, mm -hmm. a neutral tone, and a cool tone. And if you can't tell when you're shopping, grab a bunch of them and put them next to each other because once they're next to each other, you can clearly see it. You can see, oh yeah, I can see that's got more yellow or more mm -hmm. blue. But if you're just holding one, sometimes you can't read what it is. Did I do that backward? Is this your warm? Yeah. So warm, warm uh -huh, neutral, neutral, and cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, you okay. can see more pink and more yellow. What's the next brand you love? So this is the NYX. This is their kind of bullet formula. So it's going to be more of a satin finish. It's not gonna be quite as long wearing, but it's gonna be a little bit softer on the lips. I really love this one because what you see is what you get. It is really true to the pigment. So what you see in the in the bullet, you're gonna put it on, it looks just like it. So this is the Shout Loud Satin Formula. Shout Loud. Yes. And we will. 
Yep, so it's gonna be a little bit softer on the lips, uh, still long wearing, but not quite as much as a liquid. All right, prettiest packaging goes to Milani. Right, That's isn't this gorgeous. gorgeous? So this is more of a software formula, kind of balmy, a little bit more buttery, so it's not gonna last as long, and it's definitely gonna transfer more, but it's the most comfortable of the formula. So if you, if you feel like these are too dry, this one is great, it's their color balm, and again, you can really clearly see when you line them up, oh yes, that one reads more pink, that one's more neutral, you know, so again, put them together and, and even hold them up to your face when you're shopping and see, oh yeah, that washes me out or that goes really nicely with my skin tone. You know, you got to kind of experiment, but once you find yours, you get it. It's a winner. And I've stuck with the same lipstick, the same red lipstick yep. for probably going on 10 years because it works. It does. This is so helpful. So yeah. educational. <clears throat> Excuse me, Megan. Thank you. Where can we get more advice from you? I'll have all of these on my blog and, and I'll break down the actual co colors for each cool, neutral, what that should help too. Nice. And then come hang out with me on Instagram at Beauty Snoop. All right. We'll meet you there. Thank you. Nice yeah, job. You